last time on Hack 5. To see if it was a replay attack, you can put it in here, restart, and if the fob starts working, then you know. You may want to be aware that that is a possibility. Oh my gosh, that gave me chills. That's so creepy. So Woody, there's been a lot of other research in the past in this kind of uh, realm, and it's only really because of software-defined radios and things of that nature that people have started to like look into these sub-gigahertz devices. Uh, and I, I know, like for instance, Cam uh, Sammy Camcar a couple of years ago with Roll Jam. Uh, how does this differ? And also. Uh, what are the other things that you've seen in this space as far as security research? And for those that are interested in doing security research on these niche kind of things, do uh, you have any advice for those people? Think outside the box. Uh, one of the things that I think has helped me is that I was never formally trained. You know, I kind of stumbled upon this after my, my previous life and uh, started getting in this on my own. So I never learned what wrong looks like. So sometimes I do things that guys who are like engineers will be like, why would you do that? I'm like, why wouldn't I? Yeah. So sometimes you wind up doing things that doesn't make sense to somebody. But to me, I look at it like, what mistake would I make? And what's probably something I would overlook or take for granted? And then I try to exploit it. Like, okay, rolling code works on most vehicles. However, and Ford is not one of these, some vehicles, if you just replay a bunch of lock, sequ or, uh, yeah, lock sequences at it, it doesn't know what to do. Or if you play the relationship of whichever drove it last versus yeah. uh, hasn't driven it, sometimes that changes whether it rolls or not. So I started running down that road, and when I saw an anomaly, I just I dug into it. Um, I started using Audacity, I started looking at the code, I started getting in and looking at those ones and zeros and seeing can I break it out, can I figure it out, and can I run down it. And I think that's important for people to do is you can use basic tools, mm -hmm. you can use cheap tools. I have everything from Edis B200s to I have the Mini Blade RFs, I have a lot of software defined radios available to me. And the RTL FTR works for almost every piece of research I do. It's just easy. It's simple. It's wow. it's great. The Porta Pack um, works great. Everything I'm doing, I can just do by hand now, carrying that with a battery pack. Especially running the Havoc firmware, it's incredible. So for testing, I've been able to do so much more testing by being able to have a tool like that. So that's what I want people to take away: is just try it. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys um, that I know will be like, oh, I would have tapped into the chip and I would have looked for this and I would have tried to break it into assembly. And I was like, man, that's like 12, 13 hours of work. I just started pushing play, <laughs> no, play, no. And yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're just trying to find new cheat codes on your NES yeah. by just jamming keys. Yeah, and they're like, like, hey, yeah. look what happens when I fuzz it this way. Yeah. yeah. And then also, if you reach out to a company and you can't get a hold, it took me a month to finally get a hold of Ford. Not because Ford was not doing their job but because Ford's a huge company and it wasn't laid out very well how to get a hold of them and when I did find right they don't I know did, you from Joe's yeah, exactly and all of a sudden some guys saying hey I can do this right so the other issue that I had was they had hacker one they had stuff on there but there was no hardware exploits and mm. it was hard to do um, I don't hacker one I think is great I don't participate in hacker one for the most part just because when you do you have these just some of the agreements of, hey, I won't do X, Y, or Z. Sure. And because of some of my clients and the security work that I do, I need to be able to disclose to private groups sure. some things immediately. So that's why. So this was a really fun project and it justified my buying a 2019 Raptor because <laughs> oh, okay. I, okay. Did, I, did R &D, I did R&D, I did R&D, it yeah. is a company vehicle. No, we understand now, <laughs> this was just, a, the hacking was a ploy to get the missus to sign off on a new Ford. Absolutely, and she okay. loves it. Awesome. Switch over to medium can, there we go. And you can get it to just spit out the codes? Yep, we're gonna go to the body control module. Body control module, and uh, so all I do is I click in here and I tell it, hey, can you show me your first, second, third, fourth, and fifth code, and show me some TPMS identifiers as well. Yeah. All right, and then I just hit run. And then what is it, spit out a log? There they are. Oh my God. That's the door code, there's the TPMI. Wait, that's the door TPMS. code? Yeah, that's the door code to open this. This is, this is it? To, yeah. to break into the vehicle. Yeah, so if I start your car, I then plug in, because it's running, 
So then I just hop in and ask it for the code, and that way I don't have to catch your key fob anymore. That's just a USB ODB2 connector. Yeah, it's now. That's it. So this is mixing a little bit of two worlds into one. This is a little bit of uh, OBD2, little can, can busing with a little RF overlay. Right on. And what's this software? This is Forescan. So anybody who has a Ford, this will, you can do all kinds of stuff. Like I switch which side my music selections are versus my dashboard. There's a whole bunch, there's a whole website dedicated to learning all the different hacks for being able to do this. And so this CAN bus is completely unauthenticated. Yes. Damn. Because CAN is too fast to authenticate. <laughs> So, and it just doesn't require it. It's, it's a can, it's a bus network. Henceforth, everyone can listen and you're only supposed to respond if that's your message. And they do collision avoidance through arbitration. I gotta love networks built on trust like that. Faith. What a brilliant trust model. <laughs> Who would ever plug in that's nefarious? No. What, hackers? Here? Nah. Domain.com has all of your website needs from .com and .net to intuitive website builders. Create your online identity with their affordable, reliable tools. Even brand yourself with over 300 extensions from .club to .space. Domain.com loves Hack5, which is why you get 15% off domain names, hosting, and email when you check out with coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Well, I'm glad to know the real backstory, and I can't <laughs> wait to see your talk at DEF CON. For everybody that's not already following you, where can they do that? And then just tell me some more about where they can find you at DEF CON. So, uh, DEF CON, I will be presenting this talk in the Wireless Village, and as well as that, uh, recently uh, Zero and the guys brought me on board, and I'm going to be helping with some of the software to find radio challenges. And nice. I'm hoping to maybe look at some challenges similar to these things to get people running down this the right mindset for not just internet of things but more like the things we drive and there's so much to it can't and wait I to see seen a lot of that can't wait to see cars and homes inside of the uh, wireless village and if you haven't spent some time at that village at defcon you need to and also if for some reason you just can't make it to defcon all this stuff is recorded your, your talk will be recorded most of them are at the yes. wireless village yes those guys do such a phenomenal job woody i'm so excited about this where can people follow you on twitter to stay up to date with this exploit and the code that you'll be releasing and all of that uh tb 69 rr there you go, TV69RR. So the funny thing with that is, you know, I, I did 20 years in the service and one of the reasons I got into computers is, you know, I, I couldn't remember names anymore. Turns out I had some traumatic brain injury, you know, a couple things went boom around me a lot. Computers started making sense. TBI was already taken, 69 was the letter for I, so TB69RR, TBI, er. <laughs> Oh Can't laugh God. at yourself, don't uh, laugh at anyone. Indeed, and actually that's a life hack right there. Uh, Woody, dude, it's so great to see you. you Thank do. you for coming on the program. Follow Woody on Twitter. We will see you at DEF CON. Big hugs all around, and thank you for, for letting us hack you. Not like we needed to thank Ford, but you know, yeah. just seemed appropriate. Can't hurt. Yeah. Don't sue us. So that just about wraps up this week's episode of Hack 5. But before we get going, I do want to thank Woody for coming on the program. If you haven't seen some of his other material, he came on a couple years ago and showed us some amazing attacks with infrared, which kind of ties in beautifully with some of the stuff that we're talking about with Mike Osman, with the great FET and infrared hacking. and so much great software-defined radio stuff happening right now. And listen, if you're into getting into the primer of so uh, primers of software-defined radio, Shannon has an awesome series on that on Hack tip and hack five you'll find the playlists on our YouTube channel uh, as well as you know while you're there scroll to the bottom and you'll find links to Shannon's own channel she's doing some amazing stuff recently so go and check it out the snubs report and all the other stuff Shannon's doing is pretty amazing and thank you Shannon you're killing it on Threatwire lately um, so you know subscribe and all of that other good stuff uh, I'm not gonna tell you to smash any ring buttons that's kind of weird in any event uh, with that, if you're looking for some also you, some tools and you want to support the program directly, um, hack5.org, you'll find things like you know RTLSDRs and the uh, and the uh, um, the HackRF and the, the uh, Yardstick One and some of the other tools that you can use to pull this off at home on your own. I can't wait to see what kind of creativity comes of this. But in the meantime, you know, as a person who'd like to reduce the attack surface of his own transportation, I'm going to just go analog and say until next time. For Shannon Morris and myself, trust your technolust.
Hey, Kyle. Yo, why are you such a noob, Kyle? Is that your micro? My micro? You've yeah. never seen my micro? Have you seen my new mechanical keyboard? If you haven't seen it, you're missing out. 